Hey everybody, uh, it's Matt Shares. I'm the CEO of SBI and lucky enough to be in the SBI studio in Dallas with Chris Jenkins. And Chris is a business analyst for SBI and uh, Chris was kind enough to stop by and uh, spend a little time with me as he talks a little bit about his career journey. So Chris, welcome to the studio. Good to see you. Thank you for having me. Thank yeah, you. Looking good as always. Yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, all right. So uh, I guess my first question can you share a little bit about your journey leading up to SBI? Sure. Uh, I actually like to look at it in, in two parts, yeah. kind of before business school and after business school. Yeah. And before I was an engineer, I did electrical engineering at Clemson. I did nuclear engineering for uh, Westinghouse Electric, yeah. uh, control system design, things like that. And during that time, I really got interested in becoming an engineering manager, mm -hmm. more so than a practitioner. Mm -hmm. And so I went to graduate school at University of Florida, got a master's in management there. And during that time is when I really got interested in sales and in business and trying to figure a way to marry the two, mm. um, to be a technical resource and a trusted resource, but it can also uh, create things for business practices and, yeah. and change the world. So I became a sales engineer for Kiyosera and we were doing a lot of international sales yeah. here in Japan, and that just drove me to really be more hungry for business. Mm. And so that's when I went to Notre Dame, go Irish, um, <laughs> got my MBA there, and, and then I went to IT strategy consulting at IBM. And I was there working with IBM Watson in mobility, yeah. some fast markets, and, and it, was, it was good. And then I started some analytics work inside yeah. of my team yeah. And that's what kind of led me to SBI. I really wanted to transition from being a technical mold mm. into more on the business side. So if I'm if I'm somebody watching this and I hear about your incredibly impressive background and you, you look still the ripe age of like 22, so you, you, you yeah. obviously started your journey when you were 11. Right. Um, what's the what's a day in the life of Chris right now? You know, you've been here just under six months. What does it look like? Well, I start every day uh, with, with meditation just because we have to be in the right mindset for mm -hmm. everything we do and we have to be able to adjust and be versatile. So just really starting getting myself together. Mm -hmm. And then I usually follow that up with a little reading. Mm -hmm. um, I talk to my coaches. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we talk about the things that I've read. I give them a summary yep. and I ask questions. And then as a BA, we work a lot with the consultants, direct hand in hand. Yeah. So I'll, first thing I'll do is pull up that BA request log, see what I'm already working on, what the other BAs are working on. Yep. We'll have a little powwow about yep. who's gonna do what. And then we usually talk to consultants and we yep. talk to the consultants three, four hours a day, yep. just getting the right information, making sure they have the right analysis they need, yep. but also understanding the analysis. Yep. So we don't wanna just be a data warrior. We yep. wanna really understand why that's happening what's going on. So at the end of the day, after I, I crank out a project, it's yep. like, hey, how did you use this? How did the client like it? How did they react? Why did you ask me to do this in the first place? Yeah. So there's a, a ton of learning. Um, and we also do a lot of internal projects. We do a lot of work with the partners and, and really just building our own brands as yep. well as building the BA team. So Chris, you obviously are off to a incredibly fast start uh, at SBI making a big impact. So. What growth and career opportunities do you see uh, at SBI for somebody like you? The sky's the limit. And that's honestly one of the first things that I learned here is that we're a group of type A personalities. And if you go to a top tier business school or you worked at a big company, you, you're always around those people. But the difference is here at SBI, the people actually care. And it being a flat network, you feel that anything's possible. So for me in particular, I really want to get grounded in the data and in the numbers. And mm -hmm. one thing I said is beyond the numbers, there lies a story. Let's make it a bestseller. <laughs> so ah. that ability to really dive into the numbers early gives you the ability to become a consultant, yeah. gives you the ability to become an engagement manager, to become a principal yeah. and a partner. Yeah. So that's the trajectory. But And then also having one-on-one -on -one interactions and coaching with partners yeah. that genuinely care about your well-being lets you believe that it's, it's possible yeah. and it can happen. So knowing that, and you mentioned a little bit about our, our culture, one of the things that's allowed you to, to shine initially coming out of the gates is, is initiative, right? You're, you take a lot of initiative. You're not waiting to be told. So talk a little bit about 
the culture and what, what your experience has been? Uh, well, the first thing I'd say is SBI isn't for everyone. If you're not willing to step out there and take the Amen. initiative, then you, you wouldn't, you're not going to succeed here. And, yeah. and it's going to be burdensome. And, and it's really um, an entrepreneurial mindset are the people who are leading the firm. Yeah. And if you see a problem, come up with a succinct way to get it done and answer the question. And so I really think that the culture of learning, constant mm -hmm. learning, the culture of constant challenging, mm -hmm. the culture of if you see a problem, say something. It doesn't matter what level of the business you're in, somebody's going to listen. It may not happen right now, yeah. but they're going to take it into consideration. So it's just, it's really all about having a good cultural fit. Yeah, that's great. So last question. So some younger consultants, yep. they don't have as much experience. Maybe they haven't been in sales and marketing, but they've got good problem solving. Talk a little bit about, you know, if you're not an expert on day one, how does that translate into walking into a firm like SBI where we are hired for deep domain expertise around revenue growth? I think you, you just have to realize that you don't have to be an expert on day one. You just have to be willing to immerse yourself in all of the learning, in all of the culture. You have to be, have a hunger for intelligence. And just like I was talking before, the partners are here to help. And everyone from a senior consultant, uh, it's, it's really available. Yeah. And, and if you just reach out and talk and you schedule scrum calls, yep. people are very happy to help. Yep. And then you have to do your market research as well. Yep. You have to go into, go into the many different sites, yep. see what's happening in the market, yep. learn about the different clients. Yep. And as an analyst, uh, the first thing I said, one of the first things I said was you have to learn about why you're doing the data, why you're doing the analysis. So having that constant feedback loop with the consultants allows you to become an expert, but you don't have to be one on day one. You just have to be willing and ready to do what's necessary to become one. Very good. Well, Chris, I appreciate you stopping by. Those are some great answers. And for those that are considering their employment options, there are many places. As Chris said, SBI isn't for everybody, but hopefully uh, a, a peek into Chris's view and uh, how he lives at SBI and why he's here can help you make an informed decision. So, Chris, thanks, man. Thanks. I appreciate it. That was great.